today I'm here with a new video and today it is part number five I think in my Nobla week why is this so hard for me to keep track I don't know but it's number five I am pretty sure and it's the first impression today as well and it is with a secret palette from Nobla this is I was going to say this is a new one it is not I really like the front of this palette. I actually like, I really like Nobles palette. They are all pretty different and I really like that. So this is the front and I don't know if you can see like the little greens. Like here it's like a little green. And there you can see it. <laughs> I really like it and the palette it is a okay this was a little bit hard to bend back this is 15 pounds just as in the poison garden and i think this is pretty neutral it has some like shades that stands out but yeah this is how it looks and i'm going to do a first impression and i think i know what i want to do I think I have said it. I have swatched some of these. I have swatched uh, mostly the shimmers and oh my lord, they look beautiful. So I think we just get started with this first impression. Okay, so I think I will start with this pink Giluera. I don't know. Italian. <laughs> uh, I like I don't know a single word in Italian. So I'm going to take this in my crease. And we will see how pigmented this is. Pretty pigmented. And I... <laughs> Noble, I think there are like equal good on shimmers than on mattes. And that is, that is good. I have really like start to understand how much I love Nabla now this week where I have used these palettes. So yeah. I think something like this just to have something in my crease and I wonder if I'm going to do the thing that I was thinking about doing I don't know if I want like a base first or not I'm going to try just to like put the shade on that I am thinking about and see like how it looks so I will take Fantasize, this one, and I really hope that this likes, looks how I want it to look. I think it's maybe not that opaque, but okay. Do you see this on the brush? That looks so good. So I'm going to take this on my outer. But okay, this was what I was a little bit worried about. I don't know if it has like a base or if it's just like mostly shimmers. It feels like it's mostly shimmers, so maybe I should have gone in with maybe this underneath and then put this over, but no, I didn't, so I think I just have to try to work with this. I don't know how it will look up in my crease. Maybe if I go in with the brush that I had in my crease and just try to smudge it a little bit. I think that works kind of good actually. Okay, I think it's kind of smudgeable. <laughs> Is that even a word? smudgeable and I actually want to do like only shimmers in this look so I'm going in with big experience this pink 
shimmer and take it on my inner lid. And this is not like the same formula, this is more like a smooth shimmer. The fantasize were a little bit crumbly, but this is really, really smooth. I think maybe I should just look things up before I start with my first impressions. Like the different formulas on eyeshadows. I just never do. <laughs> And I don't know why. And then I went in with the brush that I took to fantasize on and just... I take no extra product on it. I just take it and put it like over like that. I think I actually like this combo even though it's like... I don't know. Purple, gray and pink. I don't actually know what kind of combo this is. I think I am happy with the lids like this. I don't know. Or do I want to try like the black one? Noblek? Maybe I will actually. So I take. I guess this is the black one. This one. Noblek. Funny, nabla, and just take it like a little bit on my hour. Should I? I don't know if I should, but okay, just take a little bit and put it out here. I don't know if this will stick to. fantasize but I think it does do something you see any difference this eye and this eye I think it's a little bit of a difference not like a super big difference but I think a little bit so do the same on this okay I will take away the fallout, I have a crazy amount of fallout here and also here. So I will take away the fallout, fix my base and my brows and then I come back. And we do the under eyes, I think I will pop something in my inner corner. It feels like this, this one, play hard can be really cool. I think this is more like a topper. I think this can be really cool, it's got like a green shift to it. So. Yeah, I will fix my base and my brows and then I'll come back. Okay, so for my under eyes, I want to go in with this addiction. I think, yes, I want to. I take in that under my eyes. And we'll see, maybe this is a little bit more blue. Or is this a teal? that this is a teal shade I'm not that good <laughs> with uh, what things are okay so for my inner corner I want to go in with this play hard and I don't know if you can see but it is like a green maybe there so I hope that this will go good with the color I have on my lower lash I really hope so I will try to pick this up as much as I can with my brush and then I will spray it and put it on my inner corner. And like, I don't know sometimes how to, or like always, how to put 
things in my inner corner. So I think something like that. Now I will put something in my waterline, take on, take on, put on mascara and try to choose a lip. I don't know if I want to go with a pink or what I want to do. I don't know, but I will fix that and then I'll come back. Okay, this is the finished look for my waterline. I used, I, I can never remember the name, Guilty Mood from Linda Holberg. On my lips, I used a ColourPop Bury Me in Lipstick. This is from the Sapphire Nygaard. And I <laughs> like the lipstick with this look. And yeah, this is my finished first impression with the Secret Garden from Nabla. And I like this look. It feels like it has been a lot of pink looks this week. I don't know, but I like it. I like that I took this teal shade of this one underneath my eyes so something else happened. So the shades I have used for this look is, I'm not going to try to say all the names. Uh, this pink shimmer, this matte pink play hard in my inner corner and these two. And I think this palette works so so good. This I think is like Nabla's amazing formula both on mattes and on shimmers so I am so happy that I bought this palette I didn't want I wanted it but I didn't want it but I did want it but I didn't want it but it was half off on beauty Bay, I think almost half off and I was like okay if there is a time the time is now and I'm really happy that I bought it. And I think this is going to be a palette that I will travel with. Because I travel so much, I do not. But it feels like everything I need when I am away. I can do some really neutral looks. I have a black in here. This shade, I swatched it. Amazing. I think these two together. Amazing. So, yeah. I really like this palette and it's going to be fun to play with this more. I don't know if you want to see something more with this or not. I don't know if you are like interested in Free Looks 1 palette with this or not. Please let me know. Maybe I should do like a Free Looks 1 palette with all my Nablas. Not with all but <laughs> in my community tab ask and only take Nabla palettes. What do you think about that? But yeah, I really like this palette. I think it's good. If you like the color store, buy it. I really like the size and shape and it has a big mirror and I love that with Nabla's eyeshadows. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so not miss any of my videos. And I am back tomorrow with another video and then we are going back to the dream palette that was Nabla's first palette. But yeah, I really hope you like this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!